Hi guys, how are you doing? Senior Gaming here and I'm bringing you Super Arrow with Chicken Hunt build. So if you're a Super Arrow player or perhaps idle gamer, then make sure you subscribe to the channel as I post as often as possible and bring you best tips and advice. And if you enjoy what you see, then smash this like button as well. Alright guys, so we're looking into another adventure build and today we're talking Chicken Hunt. So heading into adventure, third one from the bottom and let's tap on that challenge. So I'm gonna just very briefly talk about the concept itself and then discuss build and we're gonna see it in action. So basically Chicken Hunt, first of all, the main principle is to climb ranking and get as many kills as possible. The more kills you're gonna get, obviously the more currency you're gonna get. And the unique currency we're talking in here is a quill pen. Bear in mind we're also gonna have a different resources that you get from a normal grind. The only thing you cannot get in comparison to a grind itself is you want to drop orbs in here. So definitely focus around the main currency to get it as much as possible, obviously as quick as possible as well. Bear in mind as well, climbing the rank itself and getting a good amount of kills will put you in a certain rank and this is where you're gonna get also a handful of diamonds as a reward. So this is one of another reason why you want to climb this rank as high as you can. Bear in mind when it comes to playing this very dungeon, everything is a full RNG, which means you do not have control over the character whatsoever. So you can only rely on the certain skills you set and then everything else is a full automation. So you will have no influence over. So despite you are actually seeing a total kills of 1658, it doesn't mean you're gonna obviously hit that number all the time. My current uh, range is between 1300 plus all the way to 1600 plus because this is obviously depending on how your character is gonna move around the map. The next thing you need to know that obviously the amount of kills will be still dependent on how far you are with a main campaign. So what I mean by that, if we just head over to a where I'm currently grinding, as you see I'm still on a stage 1710. And this is the max stage I have unlocked. Because if I head over into 18, this is still everything to be unlocked and I can actually easily squeeze it on a power deck to reach further than 1810. But I'm not doing it deliberately, so when it comes to adventure and chicken hunt alongside daily mine and treasure dungeon, it will allow me to go on a lower difficulty dungeons and then grind more by killing more of these monsters in these respective dungeons. Bear in mind, you can go as high as possible. This will definitely benefit your masteries, but everything else you wanna grind in a game it's hidden behind this strategy of killing as many monsters as possible, as quick as possible, meaning you need to keep yourself on these lower stages. So now coming back to obviously Chicken Hunt itself, as we just discussed, you will be grinding a Quill Pen as main currency. And if you do so, then you head over into support and archaeology itself, and this is where you're gonna spend it. Bear in mind you can only spend quill pen between level obviously 1 all the way to level 100, and then level 101 all the way to 500, you'll be then using hyper stones. I do not recommend prioritizing spending hyper stones, especially now recently we had a brand new transcend levels added all the way to 50. Definitely prioritize that, unless you have maxed it out, you have also invested quite a lot of hyper stones into skills, then you can do archaeology by all means. Once again, once you're in here, get everything on level 100. I believe it will take you a few good days, potentially a few weeks to get it all maxed out and then stop at level 100. So now going back obviously to the dungeon itself, let's review a build. In here what you're gonna see obviously is a four main skill build um, and then we got a little bit of coverage when it comes to like multi-projectile with horizontal etc. There is a little bit more of AOE skills, so we're talking Ice Shard, Ice Shock, we got Fire Cluster, we got Cluster Bomb, etc. So, for instance, you see we're not relying here on a Rapid Barrage or Double Shot, we actually want this Reflect and Track alongside, as well with additional skills which normally you don't see in a build, which is Shooting Spree, Arrow Shard, etc. But these actually work very well. We got some debuffs as well as additional Smites, and I got to say, I tried different builds, tried to play a little bit with a different skills to a certain areas, different main skills as well, which seems to be sort of working better in the different areas, but this build is pretty decent. Obviously what you're gonna see in just a second gonna be a kill count between 1300 to 600, and this is good enough for you, then by all means you can go and copy the entire build straight away. So without hesitation, obviously let's tap on challenge itself and see how many we're going to squeeze. As mentioned earlier, I got a no influence, I cannot pretty much navigate character to go from one angle to another of the map. 
So the only thing you can obviously hope for is that your character is not gonna stack at the edge of the map where it's gonna sort of bounce between just a few mobs. You want it to be in that central area wherever possible and this is obviously where you're gonna squeeze much more kills. So let's see how we're gonna get. We are sort of halfway through a 700-ish mark. So hopefully we're gonna get 1200 plus and the 1300 was the minimum I told you about. So I believe we should just get there. So yeah, we're getting close to a thousand now, last 16 seconds of it. So as you see, the damage itself is a pretty decent, but as mentioned earlier, this is a fully dependent on how high you are with your main campaign. If I would push it much, much further, potentially I wouldn't be one shot in these monsters and I wouldn't get this very score. Okay. So as you see, 1880 quill pen, lucky horn, and then everything else we have farmed in the background itself. So that will be it, guys, for the time being. Thank you very much for watching, and as always, I'll see you next time.